Robert Silverberg, born January 15, 1935 in Brooklyn, New York, is an iconic figure in the realm of science fiction literature. His prolific career spans over six decades, during which he penned a staggering number of novels, short stories, and essays, leaving an indelible mark on the genre. From an early age, Silverberg displayed a voracious appetite for reading immersing himself in the works of legendary authors like H.G. Wells, Jules Verne, and Isaac Asimov. This early exposure ignited a passion for speculative fiction that would shape his future. His first professional fiction publication was Gorgon Planet in the February 1954 edition of Nebula Science Fiction, signaling the beginning of a remarkable literary journey. In the 1950s and 60s, Silverberg emerged as one of the most prolific and versatile writers in the field. Several of his works were adapted into episodes of the 1957 radio series Exploring Tomorrow. His stories often explored complex themes of human identity, immortality, and the nature of consciousness, demonstrating a keen insight into the human condition. His celebrated 1972 novel, Dying Inside, delves deep into the psyche of a telepath losing his abilities, showcasing Silverberg's ability to blend introspection with speculative elements. Silverberg's storytelling prowess extended to the realm of space opera, where he crafted sweeping narratives that stretched across galaxies. The Majapur series, starting in 1980 with Lord Valentine's Castle, is a prime example of his mastery in building expansive, vibrant worlds populated by diverse cultures and species. Beyond his science fiction works, he wrote copiously in other fields. These include crime fiction and historical nonfiction after the collapse of the pulp science fiction market in 1959. He would write as many as a quarter million words a month for multiple publishers at the same time. Additionally, he wrote approximately 200 softcore erotic novels under the pen name Don Elliott. Throughout his career, Silverberg's literary acumen earned him numerous allocades, including multiple Hugo and Nebula awards, cementing his status as a luminary in the science fiction community. He was inducted into the Science Fiction and Fantasy Hall of Fame in 1999 and in 2005 was named the 21st SFWA Grandmaster, now the Damon Knight Memorial Grandmaster, by the Science Fiction and Fantasy Writers of America. At the time of this publication, Silverberg lives in San Francisco with his wife, Karen Haber. As a visionary and trailblazer, Robert Silverberg's influence transcends his written words. His imaginative worlds and thought-provoking narratives continue to captivate readers, inspiring new generations of writers to push the boundaries of speculative fiction. With an unparalleled body of work, Silverberg's legacy endures as a testament to the power of storytelling and the boundless potential of the human imagination. Information for this biography was provided by Brian Kavanaugh. For old-time radio researchers, I'm your announcer, Patrick Andre. Thank you for listening.